Hey folks, my name is Kaja Martin and I'm an actor here in LA. I've always been super passionate about acting, so I finally figured out some recent lessons that have been ingrained in my brain like being stabbed with a hot iron. Recently, I've been casting a project called Riley Rewind, directed by Raylan Johnson, written by Anna Carl. Anna and I have been watching hundreds of auditions. 90% of them have been terrible. We know what we're talking about. So, to help future you, I've created the top five things folks do to ruin their own auditions. Number five, not bringing a copy of the material. My name is Kaj Martin, and actually before we start, do you guys have a copy of the sides? That may be what you say, but this is what we hear. Hello, my name is, sorry, before we start, I didn't print out the sides because I, I didn't really care about it. Um, I know it's not your responsibility to provide them for me, but I, you know, I just thought I'd ask because I'm entitled. Why would you let this be our first impression of you? It just makes us feel like you haven't even read the sides, which you probably haven't. We never saw someone who asked for the sides get the role. Okay, so do me a favor. Do yourselves a favor. Print it out. It'll make you look 100% more prepared. Four, forgetting stuff in the room after you leave. Didn't mean to interrupt. I just forgot my bag. We invite you into the room. We call your name and invite you into the room. If you forget something in there and then just walk back in, one of us could be naked. We've been spending for hours, dazed in this little room. It's our home, our safe space, our haven. When you bust in the room like that, it feels like breaking and entering. You think you can just keep shit that belongs to me? I'm taking this shit with me. Follow me and I'll mess you with. Okay. Ultimately, it just feels unprofessional. So if you're gonna take something in, make it that one bag. And if you're gonna take something out, make it that one bag. Number three, don't linger. Thank you again for having me in. Uh, I mean, this is just, you know, great. Yeah, I mean, you guys have a great rest of your day. Just grab this. <sighs> yep. Got a lot of other stuff to do today. I bet, <laughs> I bet you guys are busy too. Huh. Thank you again for your time. And, you know, hope to hear from you soon. Okay. If you need anything, obviously I left my headshot and resume. And, sorry, what are callbacks again? I just, you know, I got a lot of other stuff. I mean, obviously not that I'm too busy to do this. I, this is a project I really want to do. Good luck again. And this is a, I just think this is a really great project. So, excited to see it. Or be in it. <laughs> Okay, bye. See ya, bye. Okay, bye again. I wish I could now show you a view of how we see it, but it's pretty much the same way that everyone sees it. It's awkward, you're lingering. Get out of the room, get in and get out. You want us to say something to you like, you did great or have a good rest of your day, which we probably already said. And you're just waiting there for us to say something else to you. And we just want to talk about you behind your back when you close the door. Well, thank you guys for having me in. Getting my stuff. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. See ya. Ah, I forgot my shoes. Yeah. And don't be that person either. Doing one thing on the list is bad enough. But doing two or more, it's pretty much unforgivable. Number two. Forgetting your headshot and resume. Ah. Sorry, I actually didn't bring my headshot and resume. The thing is, is that... I thought you guys did my headshot and resume. So, once again, really sorry. There is never a good excuse. And believe me, we heard them all. It's your calling card, people. It's like going to a doctor who doesn't have a stethoscope. And just let me show you how we see it. So, I don't have a headshot and resume. I did scrawl my name and the uh, email address, I think. Am I legibly out there on the contact sheet? I mean, obviously I know there's no way to contact me or have a reference picture, but you know, I'm here at the audition and I, I don't really know what more you guys want from me, you know? Believe it or not, we actually hold on to the resumes of people we like. Yeah, and then we use them to contact you. It is true that some casting directors don't take headshots and resumes, but why would you want to risk it? You never want to say no in an audition. I mean, unless they ask you to sleep with them, then it's always a no. Unless it's me who's casting. And the number one thing people do to sabotage their own auditions. They're unprepared. There are sides for this role? Oof. Shoot, you know, I, I didn't see any online. Really? Because three other people just walked in here before you and they had the sides. So 
Explain to me how that happened. Yeah. See, I didn't go online to look at the sides. Just figured I would ask when I got here. You guys have probably spent a lot of time writing this. We invested like 20 grand. I just figure I'll get here a little early, spend five minutes going over the sides, and come in, bust out some half-hearted nonsense that I just pull out of my ass, waste about five to ten minutes of your life, and then wait for a call back? You cannot even believe how many people we saw who were unprepared to do the audition and unfamiliar with the material. It honestly made me embarrassed for actors in LA. Get it together, actors in LA. You're embarrassing yourselves. Casting directors are on our side. They want us to win. If you get the role, their jobs are done. They can move on to the next role and other projects. Also, you don't even know who you're auditioning for. You could be auditioning for the writer, for the producer, and being unprepared is like a slap in the face. It shows them how little you care about this project. When you come in unprepared, casting directors never want to see you again because you're wasting their time. Real talk. Come back next week for another installment of Cogitude. Until then, this has been the truth, for better or for worse. And then, you know, have a good day.